All right, all right, all right. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, we're gonna to be talking about how you can invest into ETFs using interactive brokers. Now, why do I like interactive brokers? Because actually, it's one of the biggest brokers out there, which actually has one of the highest penetration of countries in the world, meaning it covers pretty much most countries, as I do have viewers globally, even from North Macedonia, and even there, interactive brokers is working. I put the list of the countries in the description below, so you can check it out. It offers commission-free trading and buying fractional shares and stocks. And it gives you one of the best exchange rates that you can find. Because if you want to buy US stocks, you need to buy them with dollars. So if you don't own dollars, you need to exchange your money. And that's where banks traditionally really overcharge you. So using interactive brokers, you're sure to have the best deal out there. So today I'm actually going to be focusing on buying an ETF. We spoke about stocks a lot and I've shown you on Revolut and other platforms how you can easily buy them. And I love Revolut. I'm going to continue to use them mostly for individual stocks, but sadly they don't have ETFs. So if you want to buy ETF, exchange traded fund that mimics a particular fund, stock market or index such as the S&P 500, then ETF is the way to go. Myself, I'm diversifying my portfolio into cryptocurrency, individual high growth stocks. And now I really want to start focusing on buying every month one specific ETF that I just buy continuously month after month and let compound interest work for me. And that's possible with interactive brokers. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I invest 1000 euros into one ETF and I'm going to be buying it through the website option as well, which is their work trader station, which is for the sophisticated investor. But honestly, I downloaded the app. It looks terrible. It's like from the 80s. It's so outdated and it's just no fun to use at all. So if you're really into day trading, then honestly, I would recommend you a different broker. All right, guys, with this, let's hop over into my computer and I'm going to show you how it works. So here we are in the index active brokers dashboard user interface. So this is what you see when you log in the first time. Well, obviously you're not gonna see any money in there because you obviously have to transfer it first. Also, uh, usually it's gonna be light, uh, I suppose, when you start. But personally, whenever I can change, I always change to dark mode. I just love the look of it and it just feels more classy and nice to look at. Very simple user interface. It obviously shows your portfolio once you put the money in there. Uh, it shows the dividends you get if you bought any dividend stocks. It tells you how much is your buying power. So when you go down, you can see obviously a few other things over here. You have a kind of uh, update your dashboard so any news pertaining to your account or investments would pop up over here. Uh, you see your top positions. So as you can see, I just started uh, messing around a little bit uh, because I wanted to really take you with me on the journey of investing and growing my portfolio. So I just want to see how one works. Uh, actually, I bought two positions. Uh, one is VUSA, which is the ETF. We're going to talk about more in a second. Uh, the one we're going to be buying today. And Pfizer, uh, which again, I just bought a fractional share and just again to see how it works. Here you can put any watch list also. In case you want to keep an eye on specific stocks or ETFs, you can put that over here. Manage your accounts. And again, some news from interactive brokers. That's basically all. You can see here your dashboard over time, how it develops but you can dive more into positions, for example, where you can see a more detailed overview of how your positions are doing, uh, you know, how much of a position you have. Uh, for example, I have one share of a VUSA ETF, um, you know, how it was last, uh, the price change, the cost basis where I bought it at, what the market value is, the average price I paid for it, and obviously how much profit, or in this case, loss uh, you've done since you bought. And of course, it shows your cash and your USDs, and any other currency you may be using. And you know, it's the simplest. Uh, if you want to convert, simply press convert over here. It puts out the box. So I'm just gonna say, uh, I have my euros. I want to convert into USD. And I'm gonna say, you know, I could say 100 or I could use all my amount. I'm gonna pop it into here. So that's gonna give you exactly the best exchange rate you can possibly find. Uh, you know, you can preview it uh, to see if there's any charges or not. And basically, literally, that's the best rate you can find. If you Google this, even Google sometimes shows a slightly lower rate. So it's literally the best rate I could possibly ever find, even better than Revolut, which is already one of the best rates out there. But this one, I have never seen a better exchange rate than here on Interactive Brokers. But we're not going to do this because I'm going to be buying my ETF actually in Euro, even though it's a US based ETF. Then you can click on performance. We get again a more deep dive into how things are developing uh, over time. Of course, ideally uh, with time and with investment going forward, this will uh, trend upwards into the green and positive. Um, but again, I just started uh, playing around obviously for showing you how to invest over here. And then you also have something like an impact dashboard, which is really quite unique. Um, for example, you can set up your preferences and that's really something unique. I haven't seen that before. So basically interactive brokers allows you to invest in line with your values. So if you want to invest in certain 
companies that really follow certain ethical values or meet certain requirements of sustainability, whatever your values are and the companies you want to invest in, you can basically specify that if you want to care about racial equality, gender equality, whatever cause you want to support, you basically select this over here. So let's say Ocean Life, which you want to support, you hit over next and then you can select what practice you want to avoid. So let's use business ethic controversies and boom it basically shows you in the future when you look for a stock give you the esg rating not just the financials but how that stock complies with your own requirements certain things are easy to spot you know investing into oil company is very clear the impact the oil company has on this world but what about gender equality racial equality that's very hard for you to know unless you really dig deep into a company's report to understand what the situation is so interactive brokers by choosing your portfolio and choosing your values can actually do this in the background for you and help you invest into companies and you feel better in doing so in supporting the courses and values that you believe in right other than that you have the watch list obviously over here again you can put your various uh, companies that you want to keep an eye on over there when it comes to trade that's pretty self-explanatory interactive brokers is really one of the easiest way to access literally any investment vehicle out there i mean from stocks to options futures future options mutual funds warrants cfds bonds commodities and forex trading options and trades I mean, literally whatever you choose, uh, you're gonna find it here. And for me, I actually don't do any of those except for stocks and ETFs. Uh, ETFs are also part of stocks. Very nice is also the market overview. So here you have uh, different things. We can see how generally the markets are trending. Interestingly, also by sector. So you, if you want to invest into technology sector or other sectors, you can really go into there. You can see sort of the big um, indices of, in the world and how they're trending uh, generally to understand you know how the situation is in the world that's a good thing to have an idea of what's happening in the world myself i'm focused mostly on the us stocks and market so that's most interesting to me but again i think it's a very good insight to better understand how things are going your market scanner also so here you can really find by percentages and sort of put your filters and requirements and it will give you the stocks that really fit your requirements then we go to portfolio analysis which is really a great tool and once again it shows you gives you a nice overview of how your portfolio is doing uh, even more reports and details and data so the more you invest the more this number will be relevant and interesting uh, but again as i'm just starting out for now there isn't really much into it but as time goes on and i will take you on to future portfolio updates this is going to be more interesting so with this let's dive right in and buy our first etf I'm betting on the US economy. By betting on a diversified S&P 500 index, which covers different industries, not just tech, but really all industries out there, the 500 biggest companies in the US. Now, if all of them go down and drop by 50%, I think then we don't just have a problem in the US, but we would have a global problem. Again, I think the US is so strong indicator of world economy that by betting on that, I think you're really betting on the world at the same time. And again, most companies operating in the US often are global companies like McDonald's, like Pfizer, like Apple, that are global companies, not just US companies. They're based in the US, but they operate globally. So naturally, you're even diversified because if Apple would sink in all countries except for the US, they would have a problem. You technically have diversification of these companies by operating globally. So with this, I've done a lot of research before and I probably will make a separate video in the future on how to research ETFs and what ETFs are out there. I wanted to invest with the ETF provider that is safe and there are two big ones out there there's vanguard and blackrock two of the biggest money managers in the world there are a lot of other etfs also that offer etfs based on the s p 500 but those two are the two biggest and most trustworthy i would say with the lowest expense ratio so eventually i decided on going with vanguard and i wanted to buy the voo which is the most popular etf based on the s p 500 so sadly however as a european you cannot buy in europe the voo but there's a workaround and that's called vusa v-u-s-a it's a little bit confusing but basically it's the same as voo so i don't even need to exchange my euros i can buy with my euros into that fund, which basically at the same time mimics the S&P 500. So let me pull it up over here. So you just put VUSA. There are even three different VUSA ETFs, so don't get confused. I think that one is based in pounds, uh, another one based in uh, Swiss francs, but I wanna have the one that's denominated in euros. So that's the one AEB. You click that over here, uh, it's a stock. And yes, so that will basically pull up the graphs and all the statistics you need to know. So you can see over here, it's currently sitting at 71 euros for one share of VUSA. And you can see over here a bit more statistics. You can see your transaction history, what I had in the past. So actually I already got a dividend payment. And that's one thing I want to mention as well. So that's actually a dividend paying ETF. So that means I get a small dividend on a quarterly basis from all those companies that are paying dividends. Not all of them are, but some of them 
in the fund are paying. So that goes to Vanguard, who then on a quarterly basis pays it out depending on how many stocks you own to you. And you can see they have a dividend yield of 1.3% which is actually not too bad for a passive fund where you just basically dollar cost average in. So these are the quote details, then I can click over here on research and then again you have all your metrics and, and research data you need to see. Again, it gives you a very good ESG rating on how investment is basically trending over time. You can see the cumulative performance is always interesting. So you can see over five years it returned 125% return. Even this year alone, 21% growth, which is fantastic. The style matrix, you can see it's mostly US large cap. So all of the companies, as I said, are the 500 biggest companies in the US. You can see also various holdings. And again, you can click into different things like the holdings. You can see here the top 10 holdings, Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Facebook, Google, Tesla, Nvidia. You can see by industry, majority is in technology, which is great because that has high growth. But at the same time, you also have consumer, healthcare, financials, and industrials. So it really is diversified and a great ETF to have. Of course, majority is based in the United States and it's denominated in US dollars, but we can invest in euros, which is great. All right, so now I've done my research. I like what I see and I wanna buy into it. So let's go and click buy over here. And this again allows you a fraction of shares. So you can put either euros or shares because shares needs to be exactly a multiple of 71 euros or you can just put a euro amount. All right, so if I put a thousand euros, let's say it comes to around 14 shares because basically 14 times 71 euros comes to around a thousand euros. But just to make it easy, I'm gonna buy 14 shares, uh, which is around uh, 995 euros and the rest I leave. So then I'm gonna click on preview order and it basically shows me what is happening over here. There's no commission, as I said, that's the amazing thing. So I'm fine with this, so I'm gonna go transmit order and it buys the shares. Now, unfortunately, I'm actually doing this video on the weekend. And as you know, on the weekend markets are sadly closed. So that's why the order doesn't go through because as you saw, it is a market order. So that's based on the current market data. So you can only buy them from Monday to Friday during stock operation hours in the US. So unfortunately, you don't see how that now adds, but basically you get the idea. So yeah, when you do buy your shares, make sure you buy them on the weekdays during the operation because then you get the best price and will directly go into your portfolio. And that's basically it. Very simple, very straightforward. I'm gonna be doing this now on a monthly basis. I'm gonna take every month part of my income and really invest it into that ETF on interactive brokers. If you wanna play around with some more high growth stocks or cryptocurrencies, that's great and I'll do it as well. But ETFs, especially S&P 500, it's such a safe and solid bet for the future to adjust for any risk and protect your money in the long term and grow it with the power of compound interest. Next, check out the video over here. Thank you so much for watching. Stay awesome, stay blessed, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Ciao, ciao.